Hi guys! And welcome back! Today I'm in the company of Benny and we are gonna to chat about top 10 perfumes, 5 from Benny's collection, 5 from mine, that we like on each other. You wanted to see this video, Benny agreed to film it, so without further ado, if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, keep on watching to find out more about those fragrances. <laughs> So guys, we are gonna get started and... Uh... Yeah, okay, it's my turn to start this time. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about five perfumes that I like from Jana's collection that she wears when she's with me. And the first of them is Simimi. You wanna meet yeah. closer to the camera? Mm -hmm. it's oh, it's heavy. Simimi. Uh, first off, it's a really beautiful bottle. It looks amazing if it's in your shelf and, and you're passing by, you can see, oh, that's, that's eye-catching. And after that, you're gonna to spray it on your skin. Oh. And it's even better because it's getting this sweet, fresh, oh. thick powder yes, scent powder. That, that's getting very very noticeable if you spray it on your clothes and you're passing by and you're just walking down the street it's it's so oh, pro projecting God. right yes. pro projecting and um, it's it, it, it smells for me it's amazing it's absolutely my style it's so it's it's n maybe nothing special it's not uh, overwhelming it doesn't change that much but 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 this is sweetness and powderness and the it, it is still a complexity that that's that's catching and yeah. I love this perfume on Yana so Thank this you. is actually my uh, first first choice today. first choice for you Blanc I think de Sisa by Simimi which has notes of uh, sugar mm. and some fruits some lactone so it's creamy and milky and yes so powdery so it is also one of my biggest favorites and the nose behind this fragrance by the way is Paola Terenzi from oh, yeah. Tiziana Terenzi brother of Tiziana and she designed <coughs> the bottle so yeah it's absolutely fabulous very cozy and at the same time sensual so I know that Benny likes it and uh, I love to wear too. That's always great when we both love a perfume because yeah. in a lot of times Benny is like, oh, I don't like that, I don't like this. Oh my God, are you wearing some animalic pee or something? Do you remember me spraying yeah, myself I... with some poo perfume? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Benny doesn't like those fragrances. Animalic perfume stuff. Not Maybe one day I'll find one that will be great for your taste. But for now, I'm sticking to my powdery sweet fragrances like uh, Blanc de Sisa by Simimi. <laughs> now it's my turn, guys. My camera doesn't want to focus on my face, but that doesn't matter. We are gonna chat about Arsenico from Quinto Canto collection by Paolo and Tiziana Trenzi. You know, those guys who designed previous perfumes. Anyway, oh, yeah. I have a little story to share about Arsenico fragrance. Um, where should I spray it? Because we I, have I like know. one issue with it. Somewhere yeah, maybe. Somewhere there maybe. Okay, so listen to this. We were at Exons with Benny. This is basically a huge perfume exhibition. And Benny is not the guy who's gonna smell fragrances like at all. And particularly not as many as I do. So by the end of the day, I was like, Benny, there was one perfume I think you would like. So we got to Quinta Canto stand. I showed this fragrance to Benny and he was like, oh yeah, this is actually nice. So I was so happy that I could find something that Benny would enjoy. And this is just that very sparkling, manly fragrance with birch and a beautiful pineapple so it's kind of in a vento style but in my opinion this one is less fruity it is more sophisticated and the only issue Benny started to have with it in recent time is that um, this is like getting a, a, a scratchy uh, in the throat throats yeah and I don't know why Maybe especially if I'm spraying it down here mm -hmm. in this Area. Um, this area, yes. Maybe I started to 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 react. To Not react, to, uh, to whatever. Different on it. Yeah. I don't know why. But you still like the smell, I guess. Yeah, of and course. I, I like the smell. If I, putting it down on my arms or something, it's oh, yeah. okay. At least I I just smelling them, but I can't. 
I don't know why I can't anymore spray it next to my face. It's so. a you know very beautiful masculine perfume that Benny wears on special occasion, and I can always yeah. recognize Arsenico by Quinto Canto in this beautiful velvet. Is it green? It's Takis. Yeah, maybe green bottle. Yeah, so <laughs> the next that one, pause? yes, it, 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 it's a, um, an artistic pause, it had to be mm. because... <laughs> Dramatic, Benny! Yeah, I, I think everyone will know this perfume that I'm gonna show right now. Wow! Do you think so? Comment and, below! Um, yes, it's like, it was a big hype to this perfume. What was there? It was, wasn't it? I remember anyway. like, okay, at least Jana, uh, <laughs> yeah. Jana's excitement was about this about perfume <laughs> was like, and uh, the, the whole world is just talk, uh, talking about this perfume and everyone has to know it and it's so good and so great and I didn't believe that till I smelled it and I liked it from the first moment on. Yeah, you remember um, where it was? Uh, Douglas Frankfurt. Prague. Douglas Prague? Mm -hmm. Really? And I was like, oh my god, this fragrance, I need to smell it. And we both were like, what is it? And then they were like, wow. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure it was okay, before Tanya's so, so, uh, um, wedding. Wedding. <laughs> okay. Wanted to say, but it's actually okay, really so, so it wasn't another Douglas, it wasn't in Frankfurt, it was also a big city. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we are talking about Tom Ford Metallic. I can. I hope now you can see it, right? Uh, take this. The camera, please. Yeah, so it's Metallic by Tom Ford, you guys. Here you go. So here we go. Your next. Chick, chick, chick. Oh, so guys, yeah. Yes. Here it is. It's starting. Woo. Very sharp, very fresh, very. Um, I don't want to say catchy again. You it's know? aldehydic. It's aldehydic. And, um, it's a professional jargon. So, so sometimes I like aldehydic or very often I like aldehydic perfumes. Um, it, it reminds me of, of, of great cleanness. Yeah. I don't know why. Like um, Blanchet by Varido. Like Varino. Blanchet by Varido, for example. <laughs> and um, it's, it's, it's great. It's not overwhelming. It's very close to the skin. It's not that projecting as, uh, for example, um, a Simimi, uh, Simimi, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I love this perfume on Yana. So, so sh she used to spray it more often yeah, in the as past. I got it. Mm -hmm. But I was really into it. I was like, oh my god. You, you know, it's just a small great. bottle. You have to take care of your perfumes. And you know, Yana, she she loves to wear perfumes and she loves to spray it 100 times on on her hair. That's it's not okay, true. <laughs> maybe you don't know it, but she does. And um, then she comes to the point and says, Oh my god, oh my god, there are one millimeter left. I don't have to spray it that much. I have to keep it for a long, long, long time. And yeah, I think the last time I saw this perfume was two years ago. So. Okay, I'll be wearing it more often. Okay, please. I promise you, because I'm also into this aldehydic powdery vanilla. So. Metallic is, once again, favorite of both of us. Next, I'm gonna share with you fragrance that I bought Benny as we started going out because I made him get rid of uh, Le Mal by Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> and instead I purchased for him uh, Lou, Louis, I don't remember the exact name, by Armani. This stuff has been around for such a very long time. And it's just the creamiest, most beautiful, aromatic sandalwood you can find. It's iconic, it is well known for everyone, true bargain, I won't be rambling about it too much. You can wear it on all sorts of occasions, work, dates, uh, I don't know what else. And when Benny huh. sprays it, I'm like always, oh, you no, really want to cuddle with him. So. Men out there, if you're looking for and it's affordable. affordable, great fragrance yeah. for men, for me personally, this is the best. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, set it here. So, the third perfume that I'm gonna talk about is Anemone by... Oh, sorry. Blackbird. By Blackbird. And, guys, this Whoa. is a really, really, really special perfume. It's not an easy perfume, absolutely not. Sometimes I'm, I'm really curious why I like it. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you spray it, it's, uh. it's not clean. 
<laughs> from far away because it's uh, black juice, okay? Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe once oh, again. Oh, Thank you. wow, so, overspray your This here. is not clean. It is not <gasps> calm. <gasps> it is just a bomb. An animal bomb. Sexy bomb. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a sex bomb because it reminds me in the first moment always of medicine. Yeah? Medicine? No, but go on. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's my opinion. Um, it's, it's, it's something like a liquor, a black liquor out of herbs made. And it, it helps if you have problems with your, with your throat and you have to cough all the time. And just uh, getting it a little bit smoother and not that... Oh, that now I smell and, that! And this is so, so delicious. Mm. I love this smell. <laughs> and if you're not using this uh, per perfume and spraying it on her own, it's like you just have to spray a little bit and there's a, a sillage mm -hmm. around that, that I want like to, to eat her. You know, it's, it's like it's so delicious, it's so tasty that I can't I'll be wary, it's going to be my signature scent, darling, okay. To, 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 just to eat her because I love this one and, and I think that even gourmand perfumes are not, not as delicious as this not one. Not as delicious as this one. Okay, you know, it, it does there. It, it, oh, nice. Yeah, there's tiny <laughs> it, it, tobacco. It, it, sometimes, of course, there are a lot of um, other gourmand perfumes that are also delicious and that, that I can't resist. But I think this one is standing out. It is, and it is very special. There is nothing else out there that it would smell like this. So I'm a big fan of Animon. Actually, of course, I need to love. I don't love all of my perfumes, but the ones Benny love, those are my top favorites too. Now when I'm looking at them, I'm like, yeah, I love them also. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, great Animon. Thanks for picking oh, it, because yeah. I have a feeling I haven't spoken about it in a long time, so it would be great to let them know that it's oh. out there. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes probably one of the most expensive perfumes I ever bought. Thanks God not for myself, because I would feel really really bad if I spend that much money for myself but I have no problems making expensive gifts particularly for people who I love like Benny <laughs> I know that it was a long intro to Violetta <laughs> yeah from Parker Plariana collection uh, from Tecavneta just look at this bottle guys just check it out I mean like it is stunning and of course I have a story to tell you about this one as well I'll do it short and Benny if he wants he can make it more exciting so That's anyway okay. make it short. once again we were we were with Benny in the shop and I was smelling different perfumes and then there was uh, Violetta and I know that Benny personally really likes Violetta perfumes at least I noticed that he re uh, responds positively to them so I was like what Whatever. it says Violetta, let's spray it on. So we did, I think on the blotter, right? And you can yeah. say what yes. happens uh, next. Next, okay. I can spray it here because you yeah, like it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, so Yana sprayed it on the blotter and I took this blotter and put it into my pocket of mm -hmm. the jacket. Mm -hmm. We went home, mm -hmm. I got to change my clothes because I don't know, maybe we had other plans mm -hmm. or something and just wanted to, to, to dress a little bit different. And I took out the blotter and put it on my desk. Mm -hmm. And then we left mm -hmm. and I didn't went home for I, I think 8 hours till the evening. Mm -hmm. And I came back home and it was such a great smell in my room, it was like what the hell is that? Why, why is it smelling so good? Uh -huh. so, so unbelievable, filling out the whole room and it's, it's not small. I wouldn't say that the flat no, over there is small. Uh, it's just okay. like, it, it, it's okay, it's normal flat. And, and then he could smell it. And, and I could water. smell it. And then he re realized <laughs> that it's the water. But I didn't knew mm -hmm. which perfume it was so? and that was the big challenge so I had to take these perfumes the next day to Jana no you messaged me and first like, I messaged you uh, yes he, he messaged me with um, a photo of the blotter and he was like this smells good and I was like when Benny says that something like well, um, not that I'm asking him for his opinion but he is actually pointing out on something and I'm like oh he loves it I need to get it for him and then Jana saw the price and Jana I was like, oh my god, I still need to get it. So I was waiting uh, for 20% and then Violetta yes. ended up in Benny's collection. And he wears it and I always can smell it. It is this clean, violet fragrance that 
I describe as a little bit animalic musky because in there I smell sort of like a pea element which Benny doesn't recognize at all no she no. says it's soft and del delicate and amazing and for me it has like note of um, some fragrances in which I also smell this animalic musky cat pea note but whatever I started liking it on Benny it is expensive but was so worth it because first of all it looks stunning second of yeah. all Benny loves it and third of all uh, the sillage of it is amazing the quality like, is amazing it's just like Overall. perfume that is worth it yes absolutely yeah so that was Violetta let's move on to something that Benny will okay. spread <laughs> so the fourth perfume fourth 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 it isn't a Fort Monet, but it is a Juliet Hessegun, and it's called mm. Mm. And, and you know why it's called mm? Because that's the noise that I'm making when Yana uses it. It's like mm, Yana, you <laughs> you okay. smell so good. And up here? Not in my necklace. I love Spray the spray and it's amazing. Shh. Julius Hesegun has so good yeah. spreads like and and you will yeah. get all over with perfume. It, it's really it's really amazing. So hold this one please. And I'm actually very excited uh, for your description because obviously I know what's in there and I'll tell them but I want to know what do you think. Or maybe you just like it and... So cool. it's, it's a, a kind of I just like it because I don't try to smell all the different notes that's inside it's just like okay i like this perfume or mm, i don't like mm -hmm, this perfume mm -hmm. and sometimes if i like the that's perfume fine. or don't like the perfume i'm trying to figure that's out fine. what's yeah. inside that i like or don't like but this one is smelling for me also really sweet obviously i like sweet yeah. <laughs> perfumes and i would say your favorite category is gourmand gourmand would you agree yeah i think so mm. I, I think so a lot yeah. of perfumes that i like are Kind of gourmand. But not for yourself, I guess, because you don't have many gourmands. So we need to work on your gourmand collection. Give me your gourmands. You, you got like no, 20... No, but new ones. You, no, why new ones? You got like 20 gourmands. Because gourmand. I want to have them. These are mine. Okay, so I will you take new ones. these over no. there okay, and these go on over there. Mm. Okay, so... <laughs> mm, mm, it's from the beginning on really sweet, but develops... Uh, it seems like a... a childish mm -hmm. perfume because of the sweetness but just after a few minutes it's already changing into more an adult version of the sweetness it's not that sweet it's getting a little bit powdery and hot and and it's it's amazing it's like uh, uh, yeah no I don't, I don't know how to explain like a mature woman and yeah it's it's it's, it's really fitting and it's good and I think that's that it smells like our future. Oh, uh, does you, it smell you know, like raspberry milkshake? Absolutely not. Okay, that's how it smells to me, but whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, Benny likes it, that's a main point. And I got it probably from my uh, one of my first salaries. I was very into this bottle. So, we are moving on to the next fragrance that I like on Benny. Actually, I got a couple of Dua Fragrances perfumes. If you know, this is a company that creates uh, fragrances that are inspired by very well, well known ones, so kind of like clones. And I like that they create um, hybrids. So kind of yes. like a mix of uh, different, several popular fragrances. This one has, uh, I don't remember, but correct Rouge? X3 if I'm not wrong and probably Baccarat Rouge general one. I don't remember. It, there is definitely Baccarat Rouge in there. Mm -hmm. Probably with some Ace Margiela uh, perfume. Ma ma maybe not. Ma it, it will overwhelm the whole room. Oh no. Oh, it's like candy, yes, sweet, citrusy, really, really bright, so much more wearable than Baccarat, uh, way less medicinal. When Benny sprays it, and I'm always like, did you over spray? And he's like, no, no, I just applied it once. And I can always smell it so intensely. And it is very enjoyable. Thanks to many clones of Baccarat Rouge, I realized why people love it so yeah it's personally the one i uh, enjoy mm -hmm. on benny that's why i gave it to him that's right and that's actually the only reason why it's in my collection because when i gave it to me you don't like it 
Uh, no, I, I like it and it's really interesting and it's absolutely worth, but it's nothing that I'm gonna to take just because I want to smell it right now. Mm. It's more like I'm wearing it for her. Thank you. You're welcome. So, the last perfume that I'm gonna talk about today is... is... Slow Dance by Burrito. Don't fall off the chair. Okay, okay, okay. they got it. Guys, <laughs> you, you know... I think there will over there or over there be a text or maybe down below in the description box. So, oh yeah, slow dance mm. by Rido. Oh. It, it was a nice story. Um, <laughs> Jana was always crying about uh, the perfumes that you can buy in Germany in general, and then in Frankfurt, and then in Douglas, and then she was always, oh my, oh my, oh my. Why don't they have this perfume? Why don't they have this lipstick? Or why, why does it take so long? Why does it take so long? Always. And then they opened up a Byredo yes. boot in Douglas Woo! in Frankfurt and it was like, Oh my god, yeah, I love Byredo and we have to go over there. And there was a nice tall <laughs> man, man he, he's always flirting with Jana, you know, I'm standing next to her and he always, oh, you're looking good, hmm, maybe you should try her over there or maybe over there. And, and Benny's like, like Gila, okay. is he or Gila? Jealous. 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 And um, yeah, and I, I think it was the first perfume that we bought in this boot. Yes. It was slow dance. Love at first sniff. I smelled it and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, you have slow dance? Amazing. We smelled it. Benny didn't hate it. And I was like, I'm buying it. <laughs> Just because I didn't hate it? <laughs> no, because I loved it. <laughs> so th this perfume is a little bit different than the other four that I um, mentioned mm -hmm. today because it's not sweet. It's not that projecting. It's a very nice, interesting kind of um, not spicy, but, 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 um... Boozy! Bo boozy, Darling, no, thank you. You're looking for the boozy, boozy word. Boozy, boozy scent that always gets me a really, really nice feeling and, and it's getting warm but around my heart just <laughs> if I'm smelling it, especially on Yana, of smell. course, because... <laughs> Get warm around <laughs> your heart. <laughs> because it, I'm also getting like, like of a herbal, herbal touch out mm -hmm. of there mm -hmm. and, and it's just a very pleasant, good perfume that I like to smell on Yana. And that's why I chose this one And we have a last one. whole review with Benny on this fragrance because we bought it together and he liked it. And uh, do you know there are violets in there or maybe you forgot that? Maybe I forgot You're a violet that. man. Maybe, yeah. because they are not that recognizable right now or maybe because I'm still smelling your Casino Royale. No, not Casino Royale. Oh, over here. A bunch of it's, other stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of other stuff. Violetta. Yeah, nice. but we have... Yes. Uh, yeah, Violetta is definitely... It's not a beast, but it will take over with time. Because the quality is there. And Slow Dance smells like boozy patchouli with um, drunken fruity notes. It's amazing. I When I wear it, I also have this warm feeling and exciting one. And now, <laughs> now comes my final fragrance, which is Explora by Mont Blanc that I purchased for Benny, um, I guess a couple of years ago, just uh, for you to wear at work because this is quite a wearable fragrance. Once again, sort of like in this mm, Aventus style. Yeah. But it has interesting like chocolate, patchouli, woodsy, notes that are contrasted by some juicy and sparkling citruses. So, I don't know, I always like it on Benny. I smelled it in the store and was like, Benny would like it because he likes um, Aventus and he really enjoys uh, Arsenico and uh, it's kind of in their category. Maybe I should go for something very different for today's video, but I just decided to talk about this one. If you would be interested in a part two, let us know if you would like to see that, like perfumes that we recommend with Benny to wear on a date. Maybe that would be an wow, interesting idea. Wow, that would be even harder. You know, guys, <gasps> Jana got like, I don't know, 700 perfumes over here. And uh, yes, to choose five that I really like on her is pretty hard because, uh, of course, there are a lot of perfumes. There are maybe 100 perfumes that I like on Jana from her collection. Mm -hmm. But then to pick five out of it, out of it to talk with you about it it's 
hard. It's really hard. So, so don't tell us. Sorry the, for this challenge. So, so at least don't tell me the top five because it's always okay. hard to say top five out of 100 good perfumes is nearly impossible. Okay, just five. With five. many likes. Yes. A lot. <laughs> anyway, Explorer, do you want to add something or not? I mean, um, you wear it. That clearly shows that you don't hate it. <laughs> that clearly shows that I don't hate it. And I think it was uh, also the time when uh, my uh, perfume exactly. finished. It, it was, um, was it not, but night bottle or how was yes. it was oh, it was and it was was it was kind of of the same time that the one finished and we were thinking about when I, okay. no I, I think it was maybe the same time but, but okay I, I, actually... I still I still remember this this bottle and it always reminds me of a seat belt and I think we also did a review on this perfume we did if you want and to I, I also mentioned it because the the seat belt look over here it's it's really really interesting and I like this and I remember you told me that your colleagues asked you about this perfume or was oh, it right. a I thought no, you right. would tell yeah, the story it was this one. Yeah, oh, he yes, got so yes, many right, compliments and I right. wanted specifically to wear it to work and Benny came to me you'll tell the story I just no you tell and I will okay something. so, so uh, I, I wear this perfume um, at work, uh -huh. of course, uh, in early in the morning I'm gonna spray it once and then going to work and sometimes I have to fresh up at, mm -hmm. at, at um, mittag. In the afternoon. In the afternoon and um, sometimes uh, Jana is, is, is? oh, I, I, I'm, I'm losing all the English words, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, uh, well, yeah, you I pick you up. Yes, you pick me up from, from work. And then I'm also taking this perfume and spraying it just to smell good for Jana. And uh, once I sprayed it and then I started to say goodbye to my mm -hmm. colleagues because I had, I don't know, maybe maybe I got holidays or weekend. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And I mm -hmm. said goodbye to them. And one guy just uh, said, Benjamin, Benjamin, come, come back, please. Come back, please. J tell me, tell me, Benjamin. I can smell perfume from the door tell here and it's so good tell me what perfume is it yeah and I went to my desk again picked out the box with the perfume came back to him and I said oh cool. look this is this perfume it's Explorer it's really affordable it's nice to wear you can wear it to every occasion yeah and after my vacation or weekend or something what? I met him again and he said I ordered it <laughs> It was so good. It was a funny story and yeah. Yeah, and then he told me that and some other stories like girls asked him about something or complimenting him. I was like, Benny, watch out. <laughs> I didn't buy you a perfume for you to impress other girls. It's always uh, a risk, you know. <laughs> you want me to wear perfume, so I wear perfumes. Okay. Okay, cool. So. You wanna finish? I think so. Okay, finish. Okay. Uh, I uh, okay. You I, thought I want to. Okay. So, guys, thank you that you tuned in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments down below what we could do next, or what did you like in this perfumes, or what you didn't like in this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I think we will see each other in the next one. Thank you so much for. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye. Bye.